Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When I was trying to get this podcast off the ground, I had a lot of questions. How do I record an episode? How do I get my show into all the apps people like to listen? How do I make money from my podcast? Well, the answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now, Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid to podcast right away. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by reading this ad. When I started using anchor to do my podcast, it was so extremely easy that I haven't even bothered to look for another app to use. I love this app. It's the only one I deal with, the only one I even recommend, period. I recommend you get on there ASAP. If you want to start a podcast, this is definitely the place to go. It's easy. You can drive around and record. You can sit in your basement and record. You can uh, can do it anywhere. It's fantastic. So if you've always wanted to start a podcast, make money doing it, go to anchor.fm slash start, anchor.fm slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Adam Rich from the Really Rich Podcast, and Thanksgiving just passed. I hope everyone had a great holiday. I know that this, like especially in America, I know it was, it was super weird. Uh, people not being able to really see their families, people being nervous, people being scared to get together and you know with more than four or five, six people in the home. And but some people had tons of people over and said, "Screw it, I'm I'm doing this anyway." So. Uh, I'm not here to judge that. I just, uh, you know, what what did you do? How did you handle this Thanksgiving? Was it weird for you? Did you have a normal Thanksgiving? Um, you know, one thing that I think uh, that a lot of us didn't really think about this year or or as a whole, 2020 has been such a, just a dumpster fire of a year as a whole for so many people that I think it's very easy to think about all the bad things that this year as a whole has brought in. And one thing I just want to remind people of, because it's so easy to forget, is that you shouldn't, like we just had Thanksgiving and that's a day that everyone likes to be thankful. Everyone likes to think about the things that they're grateful for. You think about all the wonderful things in your life, your friends, your family, your health, if you have a job or if you have a job that you like, if you're making good money, if you, all these things, you know, if you have good, a good home to live in, a decent car to get you to and from where you need to be, like these things we don't think about every single day. And it's unfortunate that Thanksgiving day is the day where we really like tell ourselves to start thinking about those things. And that's why I wanted to do this today because I want everyone to be really thinking about your like what you're thankful for every day. If you literally, man, if you just woke up every single day and spent five minutes thinking about what is great in your life that you are like ecstatic of, that you are grateful that you have, it doesn't have to be to a specific person. It doesn't have to be to a specific thing, but whatever it is that you are grateful for in your life. And and listen, man, a lot of people, you think about money And people are grateful for bills being paid and having nice things and having all this. And that's a great thing. That's awesome. And I'm happy for everyone that has, you know, the things that they like. But really, guys, like really what we should be thinking about daily is the things that we take for granted, the things you don't think about, like like a family member's health, your own health. If you have something in your life that you cherish, that you are so happy that is a part of it, take a few minutes each and every day to think about it. Because when you put that part into your mind, like, listen, the bad, especially in 2020, bad stuff is, is just keeps, keeps coming for everyone. People are, I mean, it seems like you wake up every day and you have no idea what kind of news you're going to hear or if somebody got sick or if somebody died or if somebody lost their job or if somebody lost some money, if somebody doesn't know what they're going to do. And it's so easy to forget how grateful you are to have a mom or a dad alive, 
Have a wife or a child alive. Have a grandmother, a brother or sister, your dog, your cat. You know, having a job where you can pay bills. Forget even if you don't like the job. Plenty of us have jobs that we don't really like, but we have to go in. It pays the bills. We're kind of stuck there, or maybe you're not stuck there. Maybe you're just, it's convenient for you, and you just don't really, you're scared of change, and you don't really want to go find something else because you don't know how it's going to pan out. Like, these things come up, but... I find that the your mood is altered by the things that you choose to think about. And if you, you know, even if you have to set a reminder on your phone, like that's kind of the, that's one of the beautiful things about carrying around a cell phone. Every one of us carries around a phone now. Like it's just a regular part of life to have this computer on us at all times. And so if you have a hard time, like getting yourself to think about these things, then maybe you should set an alarm, set some notes, you know, put, I, I know a lot of people have, maybe not a lot of people, but I have heard people doing things where they like write notes on their mirror, their bathroom mirror. So that way, every single morning when they wake up, they walk in there, the first thing they do is look in the mirror. They see what, you know, what's going on with themselves, you know, just looking at the whole configuration and seeing what a mess it is and what they have to do to fix it. And the, the fact that you have, you could put notes on your mirror because everyone goes almost immediately to the bathroom and to the mirror and all that and sees all that. So basically all I'm saying is if you just force reminders into your life about your positives, about the things that you have to be thankful for, you wouldn't have to wait till one day a year to give thanks while you're hacking up a turkey and eating stuffing and mashed potatoes and stuff. That's, I mean, the goal, in my opinion, the goal should be to wake up every day thankful. There's nothing that makes you happier in life than appreciating stuff. When you have stuff to appreciate, when you have stuff to be, to, when you look back and you think, man, my life is so blessed. I have this and this and this. Do you have everything that you want? No. Does anyone? I don't think so. I don't know one person that has everything they want. I, I know plenty of people who are content, you know, that have all the things that they think that they need or that they say that they need and things like that. And that's awesome. If you feel happy about your situation, basically all I'm trying to get is the goal should be to be happy every day. It should be to wake up every day and be grateful for the day that you have. It should be grateful that you're still breathing. That should, I mean, if you're not grateful that you're alive, then things should change in your life in some way. You should want things to change in some way. And so I don't know what that is for each and every single individual person. Everyone's got a different, you know, compass for what makes them happy, what makes them get out of bed every day, what makes them tick. But I know one thing is for certain for all people that being miserable is never a driving force to want to get out of bed every day. Nobody wants to wake up every day miserable. And so... Think about, you know, if anything comes from this year, all right, it's almost December. We got one more month left basically in the year and then it's going to be 2021. 2020 has already been just an entire wild, just a wildfire of chaos for so many reasons. But, you know, I, like I was telling my wife just yesterday, I said, look, you know, 2020 has been bad for so many people and you, we could say that for ourselves, but at the same time, what has 2020 been good about? Like there are so many good things that have happened personally with our family, with family, like anyone that you know, here's the, here's the fun part about this is so many people know one or two people that, that have died from COVID or have gotten really sick, maybe not even died, but a lot of us know somebody who has gotten sick. Some people know some people that have gotten worse than sick and but how many people do you know that didn't? You know, like this is the thing is we, we hear the bad news and it's so easy to focus on that. It's so because it's such a dramatic change that alters our mood. You want to wake up every day and not be angry or sad, but then you hear bad news and it quickly is the first thing that you think about. It's quickly right in the forefront of your, your mind. And so it's easy to think about the bad stuff. But the reality is, if you wake up every day, you're alive. That's one positive. If you have, even if you know some people that have gotten sick or worse, do you know many more that haven't? You know, like is the ratio, do you know more people who are safe and healthy than you do people that are sick and dying? 
And that's a good, like, it's a good thing to focus on the, I, I, I'm not saying to just forget about the people that died, of course. What I'm saying is, is if you focus all of your attention on the bad and you stop paying attention to the good, your life, you're going to be sad. You're going to be miserable. It's going to make it hard to be motivated, to move forward, to do better things, to have hope, to, to sh- set goals and strive for them. It's not going to be easy. And so I'm not saying to forget the bad. I'm not saying ignore it at all costs. I'm saying try to spend your time focusing more on what is good in your life, what you're thankful for, than the things that, you're, that you don't like, you know, the things that are bad. Because listen, we all have bad stuff. And the reality is the majority of the world, I'm not saying you don't have people in your life that don't care, but the world itself does not care about what your problem is. We all have our own problems to deal with. So waking up every day feeling sorry for yourself or being miserable or thinking about nothing but bad is not going to help you in your life to move forward and try to, I mean, if your life has been devastated recently, it's not going to help you pick up the pieces. So I'm just saying it's, we take Thanksgiving, at least in America, for those of you who are listening anywhere in the world who don't know about Thanksgiving, it's an American holiday that once a year we all, like family members and friends will get together and they, we eat turkey and corn and mashed potatoes and stuffing, um, cranberry sauce and, uh, what what else? Green bean casserole, mac and cheese, uh, baked beans. Sometimes I mean, it just it's all very sweet potatoes, pumpkin pie. There's all kinds of good. It's just a feast, and we do this to basically celebrate once a year the things that we have in life to be thankful for. The problem is we shouldn't wait for that one day a year to think about the things that we're thankful for. If you literally woke up every day and you started your day with the things that you're thankful for, man, it makes the, it makes the beginning of your day so much better. It makes going into the day so much more positive, so much more motivated, so much more hope and, and a good feel, and it makes you want to live life. But when we... 2020 is filled with all kinds of bad and it seems like things are just constantly you hear about this person getting sick and this person losing their job and this person going broke and this person losing their business and you know there's so many things that are so rough about the year that it's of course easy to keep and I've no and this is the thing too I've noticed that this year has felt different it's felt much more dark it's felt much more gloomy as far as friends and family have gone it's it's gotten more people at war with each other you know maybe not physically but like mentally or verbally at war with each other because everyone seems to be on such a short fuse now everyone seems to be just like on edge waiting for the next piece of bad news and it and it really dampens the time that we have to enjoy each other you know and when you're when you're sitting around waiting for the next bad piece of news, you're not really enjoying the current moment. It's impossible to enjoy the moment when you're just waiting for something bad to happen. And I've noticed even some of the best of us, even some of the most positive people I know, have been less enthusiastic lately. And whether it be from COVID, whether it be from job loss, whether it be from, it can't be the economy, the economy's killing it again. The economy's doing awesome again. And, but there's just a lot of people not happy right now. And I think a lot of, it's weird because all this time spent apart from people is really making that, like that love for certain friends kind of, I don't want to say it's not going, I don't want to say it's going away, but it feels more distant. You know, like I, there's certain friends of mine I haven't seen in months and months. And I don't want to say that we're not good friends anymore. We are, but it's just like, you don't, they're out of sight, out of mind almost. Like sometimes maybe you don't put in the extra effort to try to reach them. Maybe sometimes you just don't even think about it, which is a, you know, it's, it, it's, it can happen to the best of us. It's awful that we've become more distant as a society. But, you know, in the name of safety, in the name of like being good to each other, like trying to keep each other safe and not hurt, not get each other sick you know, it's, there's necessary evils that have to take place. Like what, what, what do you do? Do you 
break the you know break the whole safety thing about social distancing and staying apart from each other and you just see each other and then just risk it and then potentially get other people sick or yourself or do you keep following the safety protocols and just kind of weather the storm and we all try to get through this together the problem is is we don't know when this will end you know, like if we knew that there was a date, if we knew like, hey, February 14th, Valentine's Day, we're all going to be, COVID's gone, everyone's going to be good, everyone's going to be healthy, we can stop wearing masks, everyone will be back to normal, we can all hug and kiss again, and everything will be fine. You know, I think it would make this a lot easier. The problem is, is we don't have a date. We don't know when this will be over. You know, this happened for all of last winter and spring, and a little bit through the summer, and it happened all basically fall and now it's worse in the winter again. So it's like, when does this stop? We don't know when it stops for so, so far for almost a year, it's been happening. It's been like 10, 11 months now, just nonstop. You know, I don't know where we go from here. All I know is that we have to embrace this and take it one day at a time and enjoy each other while we can enjoy the good moments while they're there. Stop looking for the bad because it's, you know, things are going to happen unexpectedly. Stop waiting. Don't anxiously wait for them. Anxiously wait for the good. And when the bad happens, you adjust, you take it in, you adapt, you fight it, you, you do whatever you can to make, make it okay for you, make it good for your life. And then you enjoy, in between those bad moments... We have to enjoy every second we can while they're here. You just don't know how much time you have. You don't know how long the good times will last. And when they do happen, stop and soak it in. Stop, like, appreciate it. You know, there's been a few wonderful positives that have happened for me and my family this year. And I'm trying to embrace it and appreciate it and be thankful for it every chance I get. Because I know that at any minute, things could go any which way. You know, they could get better. They could get worse. They could stay the same. We don't know. But it's a weird year. And even the weather has been crazy in Michigan. Like it's been, I mean, there has been days where it's literally one day it's like 70 degrees in November. Three days later, it's super cold. A week after that, it's like 65 degrees in November, which is weird. That never happens in, in Michigan. Like it's rarely ever 75, 70 degrees in Michigan and no, in uh, November or whatever. But anyway, no, it's just, it's a weird time. And all I'm saying guys is instead of being thankful on one day a year, instead of waiting for that day to give you a reason to be appreciative and thankful for the things that you have in your life, start making a plan to think about them regularly. You know, try to, when something bad happens, I, and I say this a lot, so people that follow the show, uh, this, isn't, this isn't new, but I want to make, I, I just want to remind people because it's important. Embrace, when, when the bad does happen, I'm not saying ignore it. I'm saying, you know, take it in, absorb it, acknowledge it, game plan what you can do to fight it or to get over it, get past it, and then move on quickly and go back to thinking about the good Start whenever something bad happens, it's easy. The first thing you're going to think about is that bad thing, of course. But then you should quickly be like, all right, well, what good came from this? What good do I still have in my life aside of this, you know, in spite of that happening? And I think that helps people get through things. But number one, man, is be grateful every day. You have no idea how much time you have, you have no idea when this whole show is over. Enjoy every second you possibly can while you actually have the breath to be able to do it. That's all the time I got, guys. I was, um, you know, I, I love you guys and I hope that everything is great in your life and I hope that more people are thankful every second of every day. And if you, you know, if you have something to, that you want to share about this, if you have like some kind of like a different perspective, maybe something good or bad has happened to you, maybe you have a, a take on this that I haven't even listed or thought of, please share. You know, you can leave voice messages through the Anchor app, or you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat. You can find me on any of them at It's Adam Rich and um, or The Really Rich Podcast. And yeah, guys, I just hope everything's good for people, and I just like to see the badness of this year go away, or at least 
we as people are fighters. When things go bad, we usually tend to unify. And that's what I want to see more of. I want to see us more unified because there is, we're finding reasons to be divided and it's ridiculous. We are people. This is 2020. It's almost over. Hopefully 2020 brings nothing, but hopefully 2020 or 2021 is the opposite of 2020 and just brings just a plethora of goodness to our lives. But that's what I hope for each and every one of you. So if there's anything I can do for you guys, please let me know. And I thank you so much for listening. I love you guys. Peace. I'm out of here.